Hi Internet, my name is Pikachu Cat, and I haven't been uploading recently because um, I've realised my videos are pretty terrible. Like, at least in my eyes, anyway. So, so basically, what I'm going to do right now is show you my computer. It's a Mac. I think I'm one of the only people who uses a Mac for gaming. Actually, there could be a load of people who use Macs for gaming because they just like Macs. And over here is my other computer, the Commodore Amiga 500. Now, I'm going to make another video on this if I can get it up and running. But for now, yeah, it's just unplugged because it doesn't work. I've just realised I can't really add up videos on this Mac because there's not really any internet connection. Like, I can't get to my internet thing. I can't get to my in usual internet thing. So, I apologise for me having to go over here to find a stand. Pretend you didn't see anything. Is it embarrassing that I use a Mac for gaming? Let me know. Ah, that looks terrible. I'm gonna play a bit of Minecraft. So, oh, I'm gonna show you the f first ever version of Minecraft that was made. Not the first one released to the public, just flat out the first ever one. It is sad that I have no um, capture card. So, um. <laughs> Okay, the, actually this isn't the first version, that's the second version. Well, I'm going to have to launch it again. <laughs> I, should I should probably bring an instrument up, okay. Usually, so we can actually get something to them. Nope, not there. Ah. Well, at least I don't have to. So this is the first version of Minecraft that not real name Marcus Pearson or Pearson, I don't know, um, made. This is what it looked like. It uses a, a, the. This is basically based off of a game called Ruby Dong, which was originally me meant to be Minecraft. Like, the. Like when Notch um got scrapped Ruby Dung to make Minecraft to use some of the textures from Ruby Dung. I don't know if he did it in this version, but anyway. The rock and grass um textures as you can see aren't the same as the ones we have now. And you could basically just jump off the edge. And just fall off. You, you 
your jumps were very floaty as well. And so, here's a slightly more up-to-date one. This is... This looks a little more like the one we know now. Like, I think these were the grass and um, stone textures used in ruby dung, but I'm still not sure. So these are basically some of the random things I've built. The, these... And you can basically spawn in Steve just by pressing G a load of times. And... To respawn at a random location, you press R, which is useful if you want to actually get back without back from the edge without them falling off. Another interesting thing. So I'm gonna. So. So. I think these textures were removed, like, in other versions of Minecraft. Yep, the wood was definitely removed. And, you, and this one, if you go to a side of a block, it starts flashing. Which I find kind of cool. Um, um, the textures which are still in the game are the stone, dirt, um, and grass textures. That's pretty much it. Unless they change it again. And out of interest, if you wanted to know what would happen if you loaded um, what one of these Minecraft version. If you loaded the world created in the Minecraft version I just showed you with the original one, this is what it would look like. So, yeah, it doesn't really look right because um, grass um only appears at a certain level. You can't choose what blocks to place. Um above the level which grass is meant to be at. Like, around about this area you can only place stones, but no matter it gets up to here you can place grass again, but higher on that it's just stone again. And also the Steve's in the, um, this one are a little um, more active, like their arms swing about and stuff, which I find very random. Just you can't spawn any in, you just watch them. And that's pretty much it for now. Um, I'm sorry if this video was again too boring, but um, I ho still hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in another video. See you later.